Guys, the teeth industry has forever changed and it's finally comfortable. So in this video, we're gonna be comparing this new way of doing things against the traditional way of cleaning your teeth and showing you the methods and what's used between the two. So I would like to personally invite you to a little slice of heaven called Venice Island in Florida. In my practice, Venice Implant Dentistry, where I get to express my creative freedom to help people every single day. And today I'm gonna to be showing you this. This is a new device for cleanings that has completely changed the game. We're gonna be comparing this thing to our traditional cleaning using these scalers and polishing and floss. So I'm gonna be showing you both cleanings. Let's jump into it because this thing is super sick. Right now, conventional hygiene appointments are composed of only three basic techniques that can be super painful when not completed properly. I mean, look at how much this guy's bleeding from just putting the scaler below the gums. It can be even worse in those hard to reach areas. See how this looks different from what you have ever seen at the dentist before? It uses a combination of three things, water, air, and a natural sugar alcohol called erythritol to safely remove plaque and tartar buildup on your teeth. The reason this is so much more comfortable is because it actually warms the water to your body temperature. See how much easier it is to remove this, even for sensitive teeth. So if you're afraid of going to the dentist, you're gonna to wanna to see how this new way of doing things could make going super pleasant again. To show you how effective this process is, we're gonna use a blue dye that goes on the teeth to show the plaque and tartar before removing it. Take a look at this picture from before applying. You can clearly see on this tooth that there's a spot being missed at home, but he's had no idea. So here's showing my teeth. As a dentist, you would think I do a pretty good job cleaning my teeth, but clearly this agent's showing otherwise. I need to do a better job here, here, and here. So the first step uses this device that uses the combination of air, water, and erythritol. The reason why this is important to do first is because it removes gross amounts of plaque and tartar buildup that's sitting on the surface of the teeth above the gum line. Later on in this video, I'm gonna show you about scaling and polishing teeth, which is a traditional way. These two steps alone cannot be effective in cleaning the tooth surface. And the reason why is because dental enamel is not a smooth surface. It's actually irregular in texture. So although the debris may appear to be gone, it will still exist in these microscopic pores. As mentioned previously, this device uses a combination of air, water, and that naturally occurring sugar called erythritol. Think of it kind of like sandblasting, but with your teeth. And instead of using sand, we're using a soft, natural sugar. The reason erythritol is used is because it has been proven by the National Library of Medicine to reduce dental cavities and sufficiently replace traditional scaling of root surfaces. Also, the temperature is adjusted so that the water coming out of the tip is not too hot or too cold. It's just right. Believe it or not, these two steps on this patient, we didn't have to use any numbing gel. He was completely fine with just using the air and water and the ultrasonic to completely clean his teeth. This has to be one of my favorite clips I've ever recorded. I mean, how satisfying is it to watch an ultrasonic remove calculus off the teeth, especially when there's this amount? These ultrasonics are super cool. They have to be used by a licensed dental professional, but they vibrate at 25 to 30,000 oscillations per second, assisted with water to help keep it cool. If you run one of these without water, it gets super, super hot. We're able to remove large amounts of plaque, tartar, and calculus, and food debris super quickly with one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and cue some time-lapse music right now so that we can all sit back and enjoy this masterpiece be created.
super cool is we were able to clean everything without having to pick up a single scratchy scaler. This patient just had their teeth cleaned comfortably and now has a completely fresh start. His instructions at home are to water pick once a day, brush twice a day, and use the mouth rinse, and then he should be looking amazing over the course of the next six weeks. So let's compare the before and after. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you'd like to see what dental essentials I recommend to my patients, check out my Amazon storefront in the description below, or you can go to amazon.com forward slash shop forward slash Dr. Parker, where you can see the dental essentials listed, such as a water pick, a toothbrush, toothpaste, mouth rinse, and some picks. I also included the camera gear that I use to shoot this video, like an Osmo Pocket, ring light, 5D lenses, drone, microphone. These aren't everything you need to get started, but you know, there are a lot more affordable options out there. This is just what I like to use. And then I also included some teeth whitening stuff because people are always asking me how they can whiten their teeth. Let's move on to traditional dental cleanings, which are composed of three basic elements, scaling, polishing, and flossing. Scalers use a variety of precisely shaped instruments like these. To access of areas above and below the gums to remove calculus and tartar from areas that cannot be reached at home using a toothbrush. And that's why dental cleanings are so important. We can help you get those areas that you just can't at home. And really without scaling, calculus can accumulate and progress into gum inflammation and even the loss of jawbone leading to loose teeth. All right, so let's get to it. Let's put the disclosing agent on the teeth just like we did the before, because this really shows us where everything's at and how we work around it. So we're gonna be highlighting the most comfortable way to clean your teeth, but I just wanna clarify a couple things in the context of this video. Of course, there have been many factors that will affect how comfortable a cleaning or hygiene visit will be for each patient. And as we've seen, instrumentation and technique is key, but there are many factors that cannot be controlled. The amount and type of buildup on the teeth will impact the process. And this modern technique is going to be most effective on patients who one, come routinely for hygiene visits, and two, have good to excellent home care practices. These two factors will greatly reduce the amount of plaque and calculus that builds up on the teeth. The two types of routine hygiene visits are a prophylaxis and a periodontal maintenance visits. I often get asked, what is the difference? And simply put, bone loss. If you have bone loss as primary indication of loss of bone on x-rays, pocketing in the gums around your teeth and recession, you will no longer qualify for a regular prophylaxis, but instead need a periodontal maintenance. There are quote standards for the frequency of both types of hygiene visits. And due to insurance limitations, there are many preconceived ideas on how often you should see your hygienist. But every patient is unique, so their needs will vary. People vary in how much plaque and calculus they build up, and even the consistency of plaque and calculus will vary from person to person. So make sure you consult with your dental professionals about what plan is best for you. I have many profi patients that come more frequently to help stay on top of their buildup, and it makes their gums so much happier and gives them the most pleasant, comfortable hygiene visit. As you've seen, we've gone through a couple stages here in cleaning these teeth. First, we started off with the disclosing agent. Second, we moved on to scalers. Third, polishing. And now we're still having to touch up using the ultrasonic. As you can see, after a couple steps, the teeth have cleaned up really, really nicely, but there's still a few spots that have been missed, even after doing a really good job. You finish off with flossing to make sure that nothing has been missed. And now I'm gonna illustrate how to clean underneath one of these metal wires. These little flossers come in a pack, which like I said, I was on my Amazon storefront linked in the description below. You pull out some floss and you actually take the floss and feed it through the little eyelet on the flosser. Now these flossers are a lot tougher than a regular floss and can actually hold their own strength. And that's what allows them the ability to poke between the teeth and under the bar. So if you take a look at this, I feed the flosser underneath the metal bar and between the gums and the teeth, pull the floss through, and now you're able to floss this area that is difficult to just feed regular floss through. I actually recommend my patients use a water pick for this. It makes it a lot easier. We're gonna end this video off with some uncut footage of the most satisfying portions of this video. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll see you on the next one.
explore everything and then I'll be back. Okay, I'm gonna okay. write in my words. But do not cut that fiber to a dark fiber. Turn that for me just a little bit. There you go. Turn that for me just a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Hold on, hold on. Suction for her baby. Washing paste. Mm -hmm. 